Hey everybody! I question that I had was why are my motors revving? Or it's really not revving, it's more like spooling up. Like they, the throttle will increase the speed. It'll go when it's on the bench and the throttle is on the stick, on the transmitter, is just slightly above idle. And as I understand it, the reason why that is is basically because the computer, especially if you don't have the props, if the props are not on it when you're bench testing it, which is how it should be, that's safe, that's good, because you don't want your quad to like fly away and you know cut your face off or something like that uh, if something goes wrong. But anyway, so as it is on the bench, especially if the props are not on the, the quad, when you put an input into the quad, you're telling the computer, hey, I want the quad you know, to go forward, I want it to go up, I want it, whatever. But the computer is sensing, okay, I get it, you want me to do that, I'm trying to make it do that, but nothing is happening. So it thinks, oh, I need to put more power in to up, or I need to put more power into sideways. Or, um, or it will also, what it will want to do is it will want to stay level, you know, especially in, in auto level mode. So all the motors are going to want to spin up at roughly the same speed. But if, if, uh, if this quad is unlevel, because it's on an unlevel desk or something like that, and you don't have propellers on it to, to make it level when the motors speed up, then it's going to start acting weird. It's going to try and keep, it's going to keep speeding up whichever motor it thinks it needs to to level itself, but it can't level itself because it doesn't have propellers on it. So basically, bottom line up front, the spooling up is normal if the, if the quad does not have props or if it is sitting on an unlevel surface. If, here's the, here's the important part, if you have everything else set up correctly, okay? What I want to make clear here though is that as far as I know, this quad is set up properly and uh, and it's been it's been flashed properly. The the flight controller's been flashed and set up on clean flight is how I have it right now. We'll talk more about those things in other videos. If you're having that same issue, the quad, your quad may actually have some sort of problem with it. If that's the case, just make sure that if you when you test fly, you're far away from everybody and anything that's worth anything and uh, and you're in a safe area, okay? Maybe even wear some sunglasses or something to protect your eyeballs because they're pretty important, right? In this case, I just didn't understand, you know, how it was supposed to function when it was not in the air. So anyway, let's cut to this next clip and you'll see what I'm talking about. Thanks for watching. If you have any other questions about your motors spinning up or other stuff related to the Eoshin Wizard and getting your quad set up, put them in the comments below. I'm here to help you. All right, so Eugene uh, Wizard X220. Um, one problem you might be having, uh, and it might seem like it's not supposed to do this, is uh, the the motors will um, spin faster and keep spinning if you just give it a little bit of throttle. So we're above an idle, and you can probably hear the one on the right is spinning a lot faster. And it's getting louder and louder. So, and then as soon as I take the throttle out, it's okay. Or, like it'll do this where if I put in an input, it'll spin, you know, so if I say I want to go to the left, it'll spin the right ones faster. And then it'll keep going faster and faster and faster. Um, that's normal, basically. Once you get it off the ground and flying, it's okay. It wants to fly. So if, if it's, if you just, so it's being weird, and you can hear it spooling up, but once you get it in the air, it's okay. And, and it seems to, it, it seems to be fine. There you go.